Hey, my YouTube fans, thought it would be time to do some type of Serato training. And I base a lot of my uh, music on smart crates, and smart crates are really, really cool. Um, once you create smart crates, there's really no need to update them. They'll always be there and they'll always update themselves with whatever changes you make to the music it itself. I'll give you an example. Let's say, for instance, I go into a dance folder. I have a lot of smart crates, and those are the ones that are going to be in blue. Smart crates work on different values that you put in. So, for example, this dance 1990 crate I didn't have to add all of these songs into this crate. They automatically uh, fall into this crate. Now, I'll go through this from the beginning, but if you click on edit, these are all the values that I've put for this smart crate. And we'll go through some of these in just a bit, kind of make it easy for you guys. But one thing to notice as well is the smart crates work on the characteristics from the title heading like song, key, artist. And when you click on the little arrow here, this is what you have. However, when you look at these items, don't think of like composer as, wow, who composed the song? Just worry about what you can put in that column. So if I, let's say I click on composer and I slide to the side here. It's just a field. You can put whatever you want in that field. Now, of course, there are a couple of fields, like for instance, plays that would require a certain number, which those we wouldn't work with. But pretty much a lot of the others, uh, key, not key, I'm sorry, label, uh, grouping, uh, composer, comment, you can put your own information and then sort crates through that or make smart crates off of those items. So let's give an example here. Let's say, for instance, uh, let's say Flip. For those of you guys who use Flip. So Flip is a, an add-on into Serato that if you don't have it, I would suggest at least getting that add-on. Serato Flip helps you to change music. You can make intros really easy from the existing song by looping it or something like that, and it'll, it'll stay virtually in the song. But just to stay on key here, we're talking about the, the smart crate. So if I take my flip and I look at the values, all I said here was in any of my music where the comment contains the word flip, put it in this folder. So in my comments field, each one of these items and from all of my music, everything that's on here, thousands of songs, anything that has the word flip in the comment field will be added to this folder. Now let's, let's try something else. Let's say for instance, and what I do is when I have my parties, I, I make a folder with who my client would be. So let's say my future parties, here are some of them, right? But I'm gonna start from scratch so you guys can see. Well, let's say for instance, I tend to use my label folder for the customer or the client who I'm going to work with. And as I'm listening to music, I will go into the particular song and I'll put their name. So let's say for instance, I'll go to just all and just randomly I'll pick a song. Let's just say um, Wiggle Wiggle, which is a, uh, a merengue. So if I go to the label and I say, you know what? I want this. I like the way that song sounds. I wanna play it at Wanda's wedding. So I put Wanda under the label, okay? Let's say, for instance, now I'll go and I'll create a new smart crate and I'll add a rule. So my rule is 
here are all these choices that you would have if you was to click in this little uh, triangle here. So I would say the label, which I said here, contains, and let's just say I put Wanda. Once I hit save, the folder's created, and if I click on it, you will see that everything that has Wanda in the label, even though it has another name, you can put different names depending on what your needs are, but every single one of these songs has the name Wanda in it. So now I can come over here and I'll say, I'll call it Wanda. And then as I'm preparing for her party, I can just say in the party crate, you know what? I'm gonna put uh, Wanda in there. So now when I'm ready to play at Wanda's party, I know exactly the songs that perhaps she requested or songs that perhaps I would like. But then again, you can do different types of folders or different types of smart crates. If you want me to explain perhaps how to do some other stuff, uh, let's say, for instance, the uh, key. For those of you who like to mix on key, so I've got a folder here that I made a bunch of smart crates for key. So if I go into 3A, now this one's very interesting because this is gonna have more than uh, one condition. So in this particular case, the genre here says that it's bachata. However, there's also another item where it says the key is 3A. So this particular crate is going to take these two options and show it to me. So here is the genre, bachata, and the key is 3A. So it'll automatically put it in this folder. As new songs or as I start to put new songs into my normal folder here, it will automatically go into these folders. It's incredible how you can organize your music just by creating these smart crates. I'll give you one other example. So let's say for instance, I'll use reggae in this instance. I don't do much parties with reggae music, but I like to have my music sorted correctly. So what I did was I created a blank folder called reggae. I created a smart crate called reggae crate and if i look into the edit this one says the genre contains reggae however the genre does not contain reggaeton the reason why i did that is because if we left it as reggae then this folder would be full of both reggae and reggaeton because part of the word reggaeton is reggae so what I did was I said, do not contain words or genres that say reggaeton, and therefore it would only have reggae. Once you save it, there goes those songs there. This is just a small tip on what you can do with smart crates. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell so that any new videos that I put out you guys can automatically get and if you have any comments if you have any questions on how I did the smart crates let me know and maybe I can be of assistance until the next video enjoy guys